Exactly, nasty grassy. The evidence that actually that's coming out and here shortly, it's over there in that, in that table. So you guys can take a little look and you can actually see how they started from 2001. So everything going to reflect on all these individuals from 2001 that's all documented on that table where their names have been there in the archives. This is not for me or did I fabricate or did I commit fraud and forgery. It's there for you guys to look at. This is one of the reasons why I brought it out. So, if everybody's interested, this law right here, S1629, I beg everybody to read it, S1629, Oregon Land and Exchange Act of 2000. Look at the names, you'll see the land, uh, land exchange, and through the land exchange, which we all know, now that we've been educated, that Zach Williams is behind this. Also behind Iron Triangle with Russ Young. And uh, we also have uh, Marissa Williams and his son Jack Williams. We all have that documented. We also have a document in the public law 106399 in Stings Mountain Corporation. These documents go in hand with the additional documents that I held in my hand with the ones over in that table. Now, we got this one that I've been talking about a lot. 106747, Oregon Exchange Act of 2000. S 1629 was in conjunction with the other ones. As you read these, and I'm passing out the thumb drives, you'll see how they criminally profiting off the American taxpayers. And the only reason why our patriots are not getting any justice, as new evidence has come down, and we, and we dissected it, is that Zayt, Les Zaytz, works for the Oregonian, can skew the story. But not can he just skew the story, he also in partners with his wife in Malheur Enterprise. Which is why, which, which him and his wife, that Malheur Enterprise, from my understanding and the, and, the, and the archives state that it was funded by Zach Williams. Now is this a sad, same Zach Williams that's behind Iron Triangle with Russ Young? Is this the same uh, Zach Williams that's behind the Stewardship Act of the $69 million that he receives? Is this the same Zach Williams as a cahoots with Stephen E. Grasty, Boy Britton? Am I missing any names? Uh, Maybe even Anna J. Brown, through the minerals. I, actually, we all know that they won't go in after the minerals. This is the only reason why this is not getting any headlines, any exchange, uh, any, any narrative, or anybody that gained any traction is because of the money that they have underneath the ground. But not just underneath the ground, how they patent the land and how they benefit off the, of the, of the land. Prime example, Les Zates. Les Zates, I, I, I beg everybody to go to the county recorder's office and find out who owned that land prior to Les Zates how Les Zaytz acquired that land, and who got that family out prior to Zaytz, Les Zaytz owning that land. You will see how Les Zaytz skews, he skews the narrative, the truth, from the entire Oregon and the rest of the United States. The document will say for itself, we gotta subpoena this guy to appear and produce, and to appear and produce all his tax records from, two, from, from, from I'll say 2007 till now. We gotta bring those uh, for IRS tax forms that he put on, because that's how we're gonna find out the truth. But his name is also documented on those on those documents over in the table that we have. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to get uh, his wife, uh, Scott Callister. She's also involved with Blue Mountain Eagle. And guess who's operating Blue Mountain Eagle? Oh, Zach, uh, Zach with his wife, William Williams, uh, Marissa Williams, I believe her name is. So they're all in cahoots on the, on this. It's amazing how they purposely orchestrating the entire media and killing the narrative. Uh, let's not forget his brother Lyndon uh, Zates. We can't forget them. And we can't forget how the Zate family are behind... Uh, We're getting better. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> uh, um, I believe not just Malheur Enterprise, but uh, a, a publishing corporation. Uh, Clearwater Publishing Corporation and Rogue River Public uh, Corpor uh, Publishing Corporation. So their family's behind all that too. So let's not forget what, what the Zaytz family's behind. We gotta bring this out, we gotta bring the truth out. Zaytz, come meet me any day you want. Any day you want. Zach Williams, Russ Young, Boy Britton, bring Ted Ferrioli while you're at it. When you're at it, why don't we just add, besides Ted Ferrioli, 
We can add uh, oh Gordon Smith. Oh, is that the same Gordon Smith that was crying, but he was behind all these bills passing? Hey, Gordon Smith, you're a hypocrite. You're a bigot. And let me tell you one more thing, because I'm on a roll right now. I guarantee you, bring Kate Brown, Kate Brown too, because Kate Brown is as corrupt as you guys. So let's not forget about Kate Brown. I know. Corrupt Kate. So, you know what? Bring the FBI, bring the Department of Justice. Bring whoever you want the BLM. I'm not hard to find. Find me and get me, but guess what? When you arrest me, you see those documents over there on that table plus another 4,000 that go with it? Make sure we're gonna bring that for discovery. And I'm gonna promise you, we're gonna, we're gonna go and we're gonna subpoena to appear and produce all your tax financial tax records. Because I guarantee you, they're gonna come with the Iron Triangle with the Stewardship Act. Let's see what else we have on them besides the Iron Triangle and the Stewardship Act. I wonder, BLM, land grabbing, funding, oh, the St. Jacques, which you found uh, Executive Order 1518 to steal the rancher's land. Let's not forget Cliff, uh, Cliff uh, Benz. Behind with Stephen E. Grassley, House Bill 334. We all know that those two bills go hand in hand, and it wasn't to save Sage Cruz. All right, we know that it was offered for taking the land from the American people. Hard-working ranchers that you guys are bullying, all right? You guys are supposed to take an oath of office to protect the United States Constitution. You guys have betrayed, betrayed that trust. You have betrayed your public, you have betrayed the citizens, you have betrayed the United States of America. That's what you guys have done. You, you got men incarcerated that shouldn't be incarcerated, exercising their First Amendment right to free speech and expression. And all you do is trampling, yet the same oath that you guys swore to uphold and protect, you guys, you guys are silencing these individuals, our, our patriots. Now, with, res with respect to the campaign contributions, the campaign contribution will speak for itself because guess what, Kate Brown, Ted Ferrioli, Cliff Benz, we already have that. We already know that how much you pumped into Malheur Enterprise. We also know how much you pumped into Blue Mountain. All your expenses, right, they're expensive, but guess what? Isn't Zay's late, uh, Zest Lakes and uh, Kata Callister behind all that? So that's not fool any American person. And we know what, I'm gonna change that narrative because I guarantee you, I'm not the only one that has these documents. There's other 400 people that have these documents. And we're gonna bring this and we're gonna change this narrative starting today because now I'm calling you guys out personally. And why is it personal? Because you're, you're, you're messing with my pocket to federal tax dollars. Not just mine, but everybody else's and my, kid, and my daughter and everybody and, and, their, and other, the other family's kids and their grandkids. You're the ones that are stealing these lands and selling them to foreign corporations, which we have documented. So, remember Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17. That's what you're violating, the same oath that you guys took. Let's not forget that you're violating Article 6, Section 2, Clause 2. The same oath that you, you took to uphold. Let's not forget that you're violating Article 1, Section 9. Let's not forget that you're violating Article 1, Section 10. Let's not forget that you're violating the Federalist Papers. Let's not forget that you're violating the Declaration of Independence. So, you know what? I think you guys need to be indicted, at least at a minimum deposed, brought in and deposed with your tax returns and every, and every wherever your money's at, every cookie jar, all right? And we're going to follow that money, and I guarantee you, we're going to follow it, and it's going to lead to your, to, to your cronies. And you know what? You can try to make me disappear, and I'll be fine, but at the end of the day, that truth over there on that table, it'll never go away. And the American people will know the truth by the end, but before the next election, before the next election, after the next election, and beyond. So our kids can know the type of criminals and tyrants that are running here in Portland. Or in Oregon, Portland, Hunting County, Grant County, Malheur County, and all the poor counties that you guys are defrauding the American people. So my heart goes out to the American people. My heart goes out to the Hammonds. My heart goes to the Lavoys. My heart goes out to the Finnegans, to their patriots that are arrested. Those are my hearts go out to. The hardworking American farmers that you sacrifice everything, and here you go using your title of nobility to steal and rape everybody else's yeah. lands and minerals yeah. and water, and you guys have the audacity to patent the waters, and which we have it. Stephen E. Grassley, we know you're behind that bill because you can't sign it, so we know it. And, you, and now, from here on out, I have no problem but naming you guys, and I'm gonna name you guys individually because you are co-conspiring to defraud the American people. You are the ones that are also, guess what? Taking the, taking the 401k, reducing pay for our, for our, for our, for our chairs, for our, for our police department. How about looking after their best interest? You know, 
You come over here and you want to take about reduction, how are we going to cut costs in government employees, hardworking government employees out there, but at the same time, you're over there on the right-hand corner, pocketing and laughing right straight to the bank at the expense of every American taxpayer. You know what? I think they're good FBI agents, they're good BLM agents, they're good U.S. Wild Force agents, and they're good U.S. Forestry agents. We know who you are. We know you're good people, and we greatly appreciate your hard work. But what we can't stand is having these cronies being your bosses and stealing our money so they can profit. And why don't we open up and find out what Kate Brown has? We need to subpoena Kate Brown. Bring all her, bring all her W, all her W two for the past five, six, seven years. Every, every American person will see how much he profit off of this. So Stephen E. Grassi, we're coming. I'll guarantee you that much. David Ward, you're his puppet. You better wake up, or you're you're, you're coming too. And guess what? It's not a threat, but we're gonna see you in a legal courtroom. Because in the legal courtroom, these documents will come out. If they won't come out in the legal courtroom, alternative media will come out and take these documents out. And I will and I, and I will slowly expose you. So, follow your oath of office. You say you call yourself a sheriff, but why don't you prove it? Prove it to the people there in, in Harney County. Stand with Sheriff Palmer. If you want to get at least any not notoriety and consider yourself a sheriff. But remember, you were appointed, not elected. So don't get too arrogant. All right.